Hey, this is Dr. Ketu. Today we are diving deep into the world of ashwagandha, an ancient herb that's making waves in modern wellness. Ashwagandha, it's the herb with a name you probably can't pronounce, but after this video, you will wonder how you ever lived without it. You will know exactly how this powerful herb could potentially transform your health from melting away stress to boosting your brain power. We will cover the science behind ashwagandha, its proven benefits, and the claims that don't hold up under the scrutiny. You will learn the best way to take it, potential side effects to watch out. Whether you are stressed out, looking to boost your performance, or just curious about natural remedies, this video is uh, packed with information you don't want to miss. So let's unpack everything you need to know about ashwagandha. First things first, what exactly is ashwagandha? Ashwagandha, scientifically known as Withania somnifera, is an evergreen shrub native to India, Africa, and parts of the Middle East. It's been used for over 3,000 years in Ayurvedic medicine, which is India's traditional system of healing. The name ashwagandha is Sanskrit for smell of the horse, which, let's be honest, doesn't sound great. But don't worry, you will get the strength of a horse with Without the barnyard aroma. It's also known as Indian ginseng or winter cherry. The most commonly used part of the plant is the root, which is typically ground into a powder. However, the leaves and berries also have some medicinal properties. Now let's break down what ashwagandha is good for based on the scientific evidence. First is stress reduction. Ashwagandha is best known for its stress reducing properties. It's an adaptogen, which means it helps your body manage stress. Studies have shown it can significantly reduce cortisol levels, your body's stress hormone. Along with stress reduction, ashwagandha may help alleviate anxiety by reducing cortisol levels. A 2019 study found that taking 240 milligrams of ashwagandha daily led to a significant reduction in anxiety symptoms compared to a placebo group. Research indicates that Ashwagandha may help improve overall sleep quality, particularly in people with insomnia where they cannot sleep well. Recent studies have shown that ashwagandha can significantly boost your athletic performance. In one study, participants who took ashwagandha for eight weeks saw a 138% increase in their bench press strength compared to just 34% in the placebo group. Even more impressively, they increased their muscle size in their arms by over 8 centimeters compared to just 5 centimeters in the placebo group. But that's not all. Ashwagandha has also been shown to increase VO2 max, which is a key measure of your cardiovascular endurance. In other words, this ancient herb could help you lift more, build bigger muscles, and improve your stamina all at once. So whether you are a seasoned athlete or just starting your fitness journey, ashwagandha could be the natural boost you've been looking to uh, take your performance to the next level. Also, there is evidence that ashwagandha may increase testosterone levels and improve sperm quality in men. Ashwagandha contains compounds that may help reduce inflammation in the body. Okay, ashwagandha is great, but it's not a magician. It won't help you lose weight overnight or uh, replace your morning coffee addiction. It is important to discuss where the evidence of ashwagandha is not that strong and it may not help. For example, it is not good in cancer, either in prevention or treatment. While some lab studies show promise, there is no solid evidence that ashwagandha can treat or prevent cancer in humans. It should never be used as a replacement for conventional cancer treatments. Next is Alzheimer's uh, dementia. While there is some preliminary research, we don't have strong enough evidence that ashwagandha can prevent or treat Alzheimer's in humans. Also, despite some claims, ashwagandha is not a magic bullet for weight loss. It may help reduce uh, stress-related weight gain, but it won't melt away pounds on its own. Next is diabetes management. While some studies show a potential for blood sugar management, more research is needed before ashwagandha can be recommended for diabetes. Another one is heart disease. While it may have some benefits for heart health, ashwagandha shouldn't be relied upon as a preliminary treatment for heart disease. Okay, how does ashwagandha work? Ashwagandha contains compounds called vitanolides, which are thought to be responsible for many of its 
effects. These compounds seem to mimic certain hormones and neurotransmitters in our bodies, helping to regulate various processes. One key mechanism how ashwagandha works is by modulating our stress response system. It appears to reduce the activity of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis also called HPA axis which controls our stress response. This leads to lower cortisol levels and a more balanced stress response. Also ashwagandha seems to have a GABA like effect in the brain. GABA, G-A-B-A stands for gamma aminobutyric acid is a neurotransmitter that helps calm the nervous system which could explain its anti-anxiety effects. Now let's discuss how to take ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is available in several forms including capsules, powders and liquid extracts. Capsules are the most convenient while powders can be added to smoothies or other drinks. The appropriate dosage can vary based on your needs and the specific product. Generally doses range from 250 to 600 milligrams per day. Always start with a lower dose and gradually increase if needed. Ashwagandha can be taken with or without food. Some people prefer taking it in the evening as it may promote better sleep. While you might feel some effects quickly, the full benefits of ashwagandha often take time to develop. Many studies use it for 8 to 12 weeks for optimal results. The side effects of ashwagandha. It is generally considered safe for most people, but it's important to be aware of potential side effects and precautions. Common side effects can include upset stomach, diarrhea, and nausea, especially in larger dosages. Ashwagandha may lower blood sugar and blood pressure, so if you are on medications for these conditions, consult your healthcare provider first. It may increase thyroid hormone levels, so those with thyroid disorders should use caution. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should avoid ashwagandha as its effects are not well studied in these groups. If you have an autoimmune disease, talk to your uh, healthcare provider before using ashwagandha as it may stimulate the immune system. And there you have it, everything you need to know about ashwagandha from its stress busting powers to its potential to supercharge your workouts. Ashwagandha is truly a fascinating herb with a lot to offer. Remember, while herbs like ashwagandha can be powerful allies in our wellness journey, they work best as part of a holistic approach to health that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, and good sleep habits. Have you tried ashwagandha? What was your experience? Let us know in the comments below. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more health and wellness content. Until next time, stay healthy and stay happy.